What is up, guys? Here we are again playing Pokemon XD. Sorry for the little breaks that we had uh, this past week. I know it's been. I've not been the greatest keeping up with these things. And it's my apologies. But. I am not going to miss out anymore. I have been busy. Um, we had family coming up for um, we had family coming up. I can heal my Pokemon here. Sweet, yeah, I'm glad I found that. But we had family come up from Tennessee. And they have left. I should have been more prepared. But now we're good. We're back on. Ready to do this. So I will be uh, trying to grind out some of more of these episodes. So I might record a couple. Um, try and push some more content out to y'all. Just try and... Try and... <laughs> I don't think... Is Lick super effective against Psychic? It might be. That or it don't. I know that's super effective against Fighting. But I'm going to try and push some videos out this week. Might make two of each. Because I've got big plans when... The first of these two series is over with. I've got um, got one that I want to do, and I'm super excited about it. I think you all will, especially if you enjoy this this one more than my Need for Speed. And that is super effective. I thought it was. So I'm gonna confuse that. And For those of you who enjoy my Pokemon XD videos, you will enjoy the next playthrough that I have. I am going to be... Oh, not my glasses off my face. I am going to be playing through a game with my new little toy that I bought. I bought a Retron 5. It plays Genesis, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Famicom in the entire Game Boy series line, so leave a comment thinking if you have an idea of what I'm going to play, leave a comment down below, and be looking out, because as soon as one of these, as soon as either one, this or most one it is done, that will be what I'm playing. So be sure to stay up to date with my videos. And I promise I will stay more on track this time and be more prepared. <laughs> um, but that's what we've been doing this weekend. This weekend was uh, fun. We went to a place called Jungle Gems. And spent a lot of money there. I bought um, I bought us something really cool. We went to this um, because I try everywhere cool we go. I try and go to. Uh, a local GameStop, or a, not a GameStop, a local game shop, and uh, the place I found, we went to two actually, we went to a place inside the mall, and it was not that great, it was actually terrible, uh, if you're in the Eastgate area, I think it was, was it Game Over, Game, Game Over in Eastgate Mall? Cincinnati area it was terrible um the guy was like super not friendly he acted like he didn't give a shit whether we were in there or not um yeah he acted like he didn't give a shit if we were in there and uh was just uh kind of rude yeah he acted like he just didn't really give a shit and all of his stuff was like uh, like used um, it looked like a used uh, sealed 
Like he sealed them themselves. Like they looked like sealed copies, but they didn't look legit at all. They looked like he had his shrink wrap thing and he shrunk wrapped them themselves himself. Um in variety wise, he just didn't have much. In our small little town, you know, I was thinking, you know, big city, big action, we're gonna get something good here. We're gonna get uh something super cool to add the add to the collection that I'm never gonna see again. And that was just not the case, and I was super surprised this place was not that good. Um, his GameCube selection was very minimal, like down to super terrible. Um, uh, what what am I looking for? Um, the the word is <laughs> I'm drawing a blank on the word. Uh, but games based on movies, like children's movies. And they were like super low budget, like low budget games that are really bad. Um, and the biggest selection he had, okay, if this is your thing, the biggest selection he had was of his 99 cent table of literally sports games that no one wants, <laughs> that I don't want that really no collector wants. These are, uh, I looked at the table and I was like, well, they're 99 cents, but I don't want any of this. Um, he did have a, he had Mario Party 6 and 5, I think, but I have 5. I need the manual for Mario Party 5. I think that's the one. But, and he had Mar Mario Party 6. And that was pretty much it. He didn't have much for the PlayStation. He didn't have much for Genesis. Nothing for, nothing for really much of anything. And I was like super shocked. I was like, you know, for a, a big town game store, this dude didn't have much and I was really shocked. I was really blown away and I can't figure out where I needed to go. But I was super blown away. I was like, are you serious? But I didn't stop there. I kept on. I um I think this is the way I need to go. Um I think this is actually the way I need to go. No, I've been here. Have I been here? I found a great ball that I'm never going to get to use. Um, but I kept Googling I saw game places near me. And lo and behold, I found a, a great place. It was awesome. Uh, it was called, the name of the shop was called We Buy Video Games. Or We Buy Games. That was the name of the shop, We Buy Games. And I think I've already went into that one. Didn't use the ID card. Okay, so this is this is important. I need to use the ID card. Maybe this is where I need to go. Um, there are steps. Nothing over here. No, nobody's jumping out, so steps. Um, yes, this is where I need to go. <coughs> How's the shadow Pokemon? Blah, blah, blah. I'm about to save the professor. Come on now, battle me. Woo! Yeah, it's really me, dog. I'm like here right now to save you, man. I only had to use like 2% of my power. Oh, come on. Come on. But anyways, this dude had everything in his shop. And I'm probably going to message him and see if... Uh, can do something with him like maybe um, being able to like ship me stuff because I will probably very rarely ever get to go there because it was on the back side of Cincinnati and it's a good piece away from us um, and it's not somewhere that I'm going to be able to just go every weekend and check it out or every other weekend it it's somewhere where I go 
maybe another time this year, maybe not. Uh, it's something that it's that hit and miss that I'll probably never go again. And if I do, it, I will just have to be in the area, and I hope that he's still open. But uh, I'm gonna see. He has a Facebook page. I'm gonna message him before too much time passes, and be like, "Hey, man, this is uh, this is who I am. I have a YouTube channel." free to check me out but I am a game collector um, your store had a ton of great stuff I'm not from the area your store was awesome though and I want to buy more of your stuff because it's that good uh, you had good stuff and I want to continue to buy that good stuff off if you um, would consider shipping some items that would be great. Uh, I'm going to try and get him to, to hook me up a little bit. See if I can, uh, you know, checks it out, you know, sees that I'm plugging this thing, you know, saying, hey, in the area, check this thing out. Check this shit out. But no, it was, it was super cool. I bought, um, I was really debating between a few games and, uh, we were looking, uh, I picked out a couple of TV cheapy stuff, um, just some loose carts, and some complete, um, I'm glad I killed that Velvet in its confusion, by the way, just some, uh, just some complete loot, uh, random games for, um, I think I got an Xbox One, I think I pretty much just got Xbox, um, games this time around, and some Genesis, I picked up a couple Genesis games that were loose, and, uh, but I was sitting there looking, and I was looking at the big ones, the big boys, the big collectible ones. And, uh, well, hey, Crane going to my party. I was checking it out, and I, um, was looking, and it was really between a couple, a couple games. Um, there was, like, a, a few options here. I said to myself, okay, if, because he had both Zelda games for the 64, and I really wanted those, so I said, okay, self, listen, this is, this is what we want to do, self, you can buy both of the Nintendo 64 Zelda games, or, or, you can go with the more collectible one, and buy Conker's Bed for a day, in the box and I bought Conker's Bad for a day in the box uh, I figured this is one that I'll probably never ever ever see again um, mostly because I've, I've, I've never seen it before uh, I've never seen it before and I didn't want to let that slip past me again um I was really debating on buying Conker's Bed for Day anyway. I don't know how to get the fuck out of here. I was really debating on uh, getting Bed for Day anyway. I don't remember which one I came out of. This one. This one. I'll go down this one and see what happens. I, gotta... I don't think this is the right one. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and heal my Pokemon anyway. But uh, I was really debating it. I said, uh, I saw that he was asking 90 bucks for the loose 64 games. I was like, well, it's not a terrible price. And I saw he had the complete box one. I, I asked him, you know, hey, what, how much do you have on Bad Fur Day in the box? Um, he opened up his case and looked at it. And he said, ah, the sticker says 125. And I said, to myself, I'm thinking, okay. For 35 extra dollars, Devin, you can have one of the most badass games that you'll ever see in... I, I don't know how the hell to get out of here. How do I leave? I think I just did a big loop. Yeah, I did. I literally just done a huge loop. How the hell do I get out of here? 
anyways, I told myself, you know, if you don't get this, you're going to be so mad at yourself, and you're going to wish you just got it. So I bought it. I bought it, and it was, it's a bit expensive. I know, I know, I probably shouldn't have, but I did. I really wanted it. Get out of my way, Professor. Tell me how to get out of here. That'd be great. You can tell me how the hell to get out of here. Okay, so that's not a that's not a way to leave. It has to be this way. It it it, it has to be this one. Get me out of here! It's not the way. I don't know. I want out of here. So that's what I bought this weekend. And I've uh, been updating my Pokemon collection also. I have um, got a few games that I'm going to be getting in the box that I'm super excited about. <sighs> really excited about. <laughs> really, really excited about it. I will be getting them in the box. Game Boy Advanced Pokemon games in the box. What the hell? Okay, so I come out here. Out of here. And up this elevator. Okay. I'm trying to find my way out of this place. I'm stuck. Out of here. To my right. What's over here? I don't want to go that way. Oh. <laughs> well, I feel silly. Okay, you sneaked the crane out. I didn't sneak him out. I've been running around forever. I've gotten nowhere yet. Yeah, I've not gotten anywhere yet. Good quality H2O. Um, they want to um, basically fuck up my plans and my shit that I got going on here, and I'm not gonna let this little pink haired biatch stop me. Just uh, battle me. No. Come on, bring it on. See if you're even a tad bit of a challenge. Love this. And a B. So. I'm going to use Espeon against that beauty fly. I'm actually going to probably bite the love disc. Return on the beauty fly. Hopefully, I can make that flinch if I don't one shot it. Nope. Oh well, not that bad, not that bad. Let's see how much damage this does on the beauty fly. It's good. Oh, we only kill that turn. I, this should take them both out. Should be able to take both mons out. Love this painted. Bye bye. And oh, the thing's tiny. Beauty fly painted. Bye bye. Teddy Ursa leveled up. Sweet. And oh, Caddy. I bet that one just shadow. Yeah. What are the both shadow? Nope, just that one. So I'm going to use Confusion against Rosalia. And 
lick against Delcaddy. A lick won't affect it, I don't think. Fuck. I knew that would be super effective against Rosalia. I don't think Lick will affect it. Fuck. Shadow Rush. It might. Ow! Yeah, I didn't think so. <sighs> Come on. Confusion! Okay, I'm glad it didn't kill Teddy or so. That killed it. Sweet. This lady wasn't really that big of a worry. No, nobody in this game really has. Espeon leveled up. His special attack's like fucking insane. Alright. Went ahead and beat her. Real quick. $2,100 and their shadow Pokemon ran away. Oh, blah, blah, blah. No. No. So how in the hell do I get out of here? You have grown tough, haven't you? In fact, I'm amazed at how much time. Yes, we'll be right here. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't know what that was, but... It was shiny, so I clicked it. Okay. Well, we came in here real slow, and maybe it's to the exit. Oh, sweet. It just brought me right back. Thank God. That's a horrible ordeal. I learned a few things. First and foremost, the side present disappeared. They're making more shadow Pokemon again. Blah, blah, blah. The one that is impossible to purify. Weapons again. God, here comes this guy. What do you want? Purify chamber is finally complete. What fantastic! It's finally finished. Blah blah blah. Waste any time. Blah blah blah. So now I should be able to like catch more shadow Pokemon and get them purified real quick. Real quick. Real. Is it over here? Yeah. This is a purified chamber. Your father and I. We're doing great. Uh, we wanted to be able to save them ourselves. I put together a fucking money skew lab. Oh, what the hell happened to my dad? I rallied around Lily and made things happen. Mm, we'll have you lead the way. What? What? Okay, listen closely. The purification is a facility I'm a shadow Pokemon undergo. Purification through contact with regular Pokemon. Okay, yes. On what we so call we'll call a set. This is where Okay, yeah, in the center of a set, one shadow Pokemon is placed. Where can we can be placed around the shadow Pokemon. Okay. It's nine of those sets here, that means we can efficiently purify up to nine shadow Pokemon at the same time. And be careful about purification, won't proceed if you place only a single on a set. Purification can only happen if there is at least one regular. Okay, a regular Pokemon placed with our key points, okay. Um, first, the number of regular Pokemon. Regular Pokemon put up, we'll it. Okay, blah blah blah. Um, blah blah blah. I don't. I can't catch any anyway. Um. Okay. on this thing. There's nothing in there.
How the hell do I go to the hologram? No, okay. So basically, I can put Pokemon in there. It's mm. possible. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, how in the hell? So am I? How, I can't catch anything. Man in the room next to the director's office. Remember, he was compiling the basic data. Big brother tired, so Jovi will go. I bet he's like captured. office upstairs blah 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 so actually guys I think we're gonna end the episode here um, I'm gonna try and figure out if I can like catch some more shadow Pokemon or like how I do that because I'm tired of using the same two Pokemon I'm sure you guys are as well but um <clears throat> so as I mentioned earlier in the video I have my Retron 5 and I will be using that for the next series as soon as the first one of these two are done, uh, whether it be XD, Gale of Darkness that finishes first, or Need for Speed Most Wanted, both on the GameCube, whichever one finishes first, I will be replacing it with uh, something very awesome, something I'm super excited to do, something that I am and, and glad that I'm able to do easily, more easier, more easily, whatever, with my Retron 5. So what I want you guys to do is take a guess at what it could be. It If you do enjoy this series for any particular reason more than the other one, um, this is a big hint. That is what I'm going to be doing. If you enjoy this one, you'll really enjoy the next one. I just bumped my computer. You'll really enjoy the next one that I'm going to be starting. Um, also... Be sure to hit that like button, guys, if you do enjoy this series. It really helps a lot. Um, I'm trying to get, let, let's try and get at least everybody that views like this video. Um, it really helps me out. It uh, <laughs> really shows me that you guys are enjoying what I'm doing and that what I'm doing is uh, is is what I'm want to I want to do. It's just entertain everybody like a lot of people entertain me on YouTube. Um, and lastly, if you're new to the channel and you do really enjoy this video and this content and this series, be sure to subscribe. And then if you want to go even that extra mile, hit the bell so you can stay up to date on all my videos and live streams. And then if you want to even go take it to the next level, follow me on Twitter. I will post the link in the description of this video. And that's it, fellas and ladies, whoever watches this video. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me today, guys. I hope you all have a great Monday. Hope you have had a great weekend. I know I have. And I will see you guys in the next video or live stream.